Hi everyone and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to hide how to hide your IP address whenever you are doing reverse engineering or hacking websites for their API. So if you have not watched my videos of hacking websites uh, to for their API make sure you watch that. So one thing that you guys need to know whenever you make a request to the website that is a get port post or anything your IP address is noted. So how can you hide your IP address in this video? I'm gonna be teaching you how to do that. So we would be using proxies in order to do that. So let's get started. So first of all, uh, we need to go to the website. Uh, so let me just uh, show you what I'm trying to do here. So let me just execute a small piece of code first. So if I run this code, it should print my IP address. That is my public IP address of my uh, of my computer. Name error proxies is not defined. All right, so let's just remove that for now. So so we got a response uh, 200. Now I just need to print the JSON. Response text and if I run that. So here you see, this is my public IP address. Um, so that's my public IP address. So now I was making a request to this website and uh, this website uh, gave me the IP address, my IP address back. Now how we can hide our IP address using proxies. So in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you that. So by the way, the complete documentation is there on my blog. So step by step, everything is explained here. So make sure uh, to watch that uh, blog uh, if you if you have any questions so let me go to the website from uh, I'm gonna show as if I am in Germany right now so whenever I make request uh, I want to make sure that they do not intercept me uh, so I want to hide my identity so I'm gonna use proxies uh, to do that so uh, first of all well, uh, I need to go to the website uh, to get a proxy so let me see what was the website I don't let, let me just google that so go to Google, basically there are a lot of uh, proxy IPs. Um, uh, I'm gonna go to the few of the links that is a free proxy IPs. So I'm just opening all of them and I'm just gonna take one of that. So here is a website known as www.us-proxy.org. So you can take any proxies that you like. So these are the proxies of, so these are all anonymous. So let's say I wanna use uh, this I, uh, proxy, this IP address and the port is 3182. So let's fake, now whenever you're doing any request, make sure to hide your identity using proxies always. So uh, I already have a code written. So let me just bring that. So here you see, let me copy that. So uh, initially when I was making a response, it was uh, giving my public IP, right? Which is not good, I, I want to hide my uh, identity. So now I'm gonna take an IP address from this website, uh, which is usproxy.usproxy.org. Dot, usproxy dot copy the any IP that you want. So I'm just copying a random IP address. Uh, and make sure to copy the port as well. So it's 3128. All right, so we have defined our proxies and now response equals to proxies equals to proxies. So now this will take a little while because we are uh, giving it proxies. And uh, let me just print the text. So basically, we, we let's see if it is, uh, I mean, let's see if it is disclosing our IP address. So if I run this, it will take a little while. And here you see it's now 129.213 dot 69 dot 33 which is not my ip address which is the ip address that i use so proxy servers basically help you to hide your ip address or for anonymity so basically you should always use proxies whenever you are uh, doing a reverse engineering on websites or something like that so make sure you use proxy so that your ip is not traced and they cannot get back to you so proxies will basically help you to hide your um, identity and you will be anonymous so this URL is basically a website where whenever you make any request, it basically sends you your IP address. So it is just kind of an echo basically whenever you you know do any kind of request, they'll basically send you your 
uh, IP address. So whatever fr from whatever uh, IP address that request was made. So using proxies, you can hide that and you can get the data. So that's it for this video. The, the entire text of this video is also there on my blog post. So my blog name is Pythonist. So make sure you do uh, make sure to uh, read it. If you if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. The entire code is there on my blog. So that's it for this video and hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.